Open banking is quite well known for banking community for many years already, but it's still associated with the regulatory requirements. And well, I think current tendency is to find new ways how to convert open banking and compliance into revenue generating streams. Therefore, I would ask Edgar's how do you see are we well beyond this compliance remit with open banking? Because we hear a lot about embedded finance, bars, marketplaces. Well, where is the truth? Is it still compliance thing or not? Yeah, first of all, like compliance, just before uh, compliance came in, banks already had a lot of APIs, proprietary APIs. No, with compliance, I think two major things happened. So all banks had to open the sandboxes and APIs on these regulated areas like in the UK and, and PSD2 in Europe. And other thing is that standardization groups like Berlin Group started to work and created a lot of standards for APIs. And this brought up kind of standardized approach uh, how banks are exposing APIs. And now I believe that next step is really to see APIs as a product. And definitely there is a clear move to this marketplaces, embedded finance and uh, APIs where banks actually can sell their products through APIs. Could you please briefly elaborate what does it mean, embedded finance? Uh, it's, I think it's quite simple thing. When bank offers their services to some fintechs, which actually embeds these services in their applications or their offerings. Meaning uh, this fintech has some nice mobile app and, and then when they are offering services to their uh, consumers, they are actually calling APIs from the banks and, and, and getting these answers from the banks and offering services directly to the customers. So from bank's perspective, it means that actually someone else sells bank products through these embedded offerings. What about marketplace? Are there many banks well, following this approach, building their own marketplace? Yeah, definitely. Marketplace is something how you are actually selling these API products. And, and that, there could be two approaches. Some banks are building their own marketplaces and we are seeing uh, like one of our customers very successful uh, use case when bank built uh, their own marketplace and actually it went much uh, broader area than banking. Now it's uh, like with postal de deliveries, merchant services and all other stuff and bank ha had a huge transactional growth due to this marketplace. And there could be uh, smaller banks or niche banks which are not building their own marketplaces, but which embeds their services and other banks' marketplaces. Well, it may seem that it's quite enough just to expose APIs. Is that true or not really? Yeah, I think, again, back from this history, APIs are as a technical integration point. But in reality, we are seeing that nowadays APIs is a product and it's uh, something different. You need to have this all uh, product attributes to APIs. You need to have a limitations. You need to have a fee calculations. And this is something what banks need to understand that actually APIs is something which is a product which is built on top of your existing products which are sit somewhere in backend systems. Well, where would a bank start its API journey? Yeah, definitely, each bank needs to build their own API strategy how they actually will approach market with these APIs. And this is a critical thing to start to think what kind of embedded offerings, what do they bank will have their own marketplace or, or, or they will embed in other marketplaces or they will be just a compliant and, and, and they will do nothing. Yeah, but seeing this, how actually digital world moves, I believe that each successful bank will need to have this API product offerings in, in, in their uh, product portfolio. Well, from technical experience, what you would suggest considering when planning the API journey for a bank? It's a very good question. It's very important for banks and, and financial institutions. Uh, because in, in first step, you need to find a right partner or right platform. And uh, 
how to say, see to the internal power of your IT staff. If you do not have experience of uh, uh, APIs and financial area, uh, banks need to choose what uh, banks should do. If bank have a very powerful IT staff, of course it can be done internally using some open source product, etc. But usually what we see, uh, uh, banks want to, how to say, rise to a partner who can provide such uh, possibility to work with uh, API to create bank products based on APIs. What capabilities, I mean, what technical capabilities should comprehensive API management platform have, in your opinion? Uh, it is not enough for uh, some enterprise service bus uh, using us for this journey or uh, or some API gateway. It is not enough, yes, because uh, you need to, how to say, uh, start to work with uh, fintech companies, other banks, uh, leasing companies, and you need to face. What does it mean to face? Face it is uh, your uh, development portal, like... Uh, your internet bank. If you have a good internet bank, you have a customer satisfaction, good customer satisfaction. If you have a good development portal for banks, you have a TTP and your partner, good satisfaction. And of course, uh, time uh, for integration, time for integration. This is another very, uh, how to say, success uh, story for that. Uh, uh, you needed API uh, publish this API in standard way using maybe Bering Group framework, maybe another standardized framework. You need a sandbox to test it uh, because uh, fintechs uh, want to test 24 by 7, want to utilize this product. Yes, want to integrate this your bank product to the, some business application and other, uh, uh, other technologies. Basically, uh, Banks cannot provide itself using some, I don't know, open source product. You personally coordinated several uh, difficult implementation projects uh, and served uh, many customers uh, well, with your experience and well, with our deliveries. Could you please tell us about the challenges that you faced during these implementation projects? Uh, challenges, first challenges is the technology, because most banks uh, do not how to say very, very friendly with new technology, uh, with uh, microservice approach, approach technology, with uh, environment, uh, new environment like uh, Kubernetes environment, etc. Of course, this is our first challenge between uh, us, our vendor, and customer. Uh, this is first. Second, it is understanding understanding of, because most uh, customers do not understand what is mean product based on API. Uh, most customers understand API. This is simple API. No, 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 no. This is not a simple API. This is, uh, uh, this is API in, in array of payments. And uh, we, how to say, provide a lot of uh, uh, session to customers uh, when customers start to understand uh, uh, how to compile these APIs to one single financial product. While open banking started with the regulatory requirements, quite obvious now that we are moving beyond this premise. And while just few banks have realized that they can turn open APIs into revenue generating stream using mo models like embedded finance and marketplaces, there are still uh, huge challenges that banks may face uh, in the upcoming future. Uh, some of them are related to the understanding that it's not only about exposing APIs, but there are different capabilities that should be there in place and indeed lack of competence uh, of our existing IT resource is uh, one of the challenges banks need to overcome.